fucking Aegis Slash. Alright, Aegis Slash is a big pain in the butt. I do think Garchomp's here. He doesn't have any Intimidators other than Arcanine, and I can still one-shot that guy. If I were to go Garchomp Lele, that's okay. I think Coco... Um, Garchomp's actually really, really good. What is that? The Aegis Slash is the problem. I'll lead with the Coco. If I go Coco... Uh, am I really going to go Coco Butterfree? I don't like that. That sounds terrible. Coco Raichu seems like it's probably the best. I can fake out the problems. I guess my Z-move still has potential to do stuff. Then I will... Oh my gosh. I will bring my Lele. And then it's Garchomp, Gyarados, or Butterfree. Garchomp deals decent damage against all those. Gyarados gets destroyed by Aegis Slash. And then Butterfree is good against all these, but he has a Feeny up. So I'm going to bring the Garchomp, the lesser of the, all the evils. I just don't want to get Wide Guard destroyed by Aegis Slash. That's what, like, Aegis Slash makes you play the King's Shield or Wide Guard game. You have to guess which one it's going to use, and both can, like, mess you up really hard. So we'll see what he goes for. Hmm. Porygon 2 and Arcanine. Here we go. Cool. So we technically avoid Intimidates here. Alright. Who are we going to fake out? I think we're going to fake out the Arcanine. Who's the biggest threat, actually? Let's, let's actually think about that. The Arcanine is just going to be a special wall. But the Porygon 2, if I fake out the Arcanine... Nuke the Porygon. I don't think the Porygon has the potential. Porygon gets Shadow Ball. Mm. Let's just do this for now. The Shadow Ball is my Raichu. Shadow Ball is my Raichu. Arcanine protects. Hey, I can Encore that if my Raichu stays alive. But I don't think it will. I think I'm going to get Shadow Ball in the face. Oh, wow, I got a para from Thunderbolt. I never get those, ever. Oh my gosh, and he trick rooms me. I did not... I, I knew there was potential for trick room, but I was not expecting the trick room here. Okay, what do we got in the back? We got Garchomp and Lele, which means we're boned. Alright, well, let's just play to our outs, I guess. He probably sees Raichu as a threat, and I think that has a Sash, so I'm expecting like a Snarl Shadow Ball, potentially. It's kind of hard to say. He might also recover. Let's see what we can get done. Porygon's paralyzed. That's really good. He's most likely going for a recover there. He goes for a big Flare Blitz, probably up under my... Maybe my Coco? Oh, into the Garchomp slot. Yes. Well, it was originally a Raichu, so he's going to take Rough Skin. He's going to take Recoil, and we're going to scout for a Life Orb. Recoil, and no Orb, and then Discharge comes in. Oh, double paras! Dude, this is pretty bueno. Okay. I, I know what I'm going to do here. It really depends on if he he's paralyzed. I'm going to take a little bit of a risk. Switch in here, protect here. He's going to go for Ice Beam Flare Blitz, I think, on my Coco slot. Maybe I should just fodder the Coco. But I don't really want to. I think I'm doing a pretty good job of like weathering this trick room, to be completely honest. Cool, cool. Now we're, we're safe then. He's going to send Sylveon in here. Sylveon is a pain in the butt, but we're going to scout if that Porygon has Ice Beam, which I, I know it does. We can only fake out one. Porygon Psychic. He doesn't have Ice Beam. Okay. He doesn't have Ice Beam. Right now what he's telling me is I don't have Ice Beam. So I'll force you. This is also, I think, a little bit safer, because we're still wasting turns on his Trick Room. His Porygon's paralyzed. He'd have to try to risk Para, you know? So Fake Out comes in there. Neutralize. Porygon is paralyzed. Don't know what he used, but he's gone now. And then next turn, I can protect a way out of, like, all this stuff. I am intimidated. No, I'm not. I'm not intimidated. I let Coco... Uh, yeah, I like Coco Raichu. Cool. We're doing good. We're we're hanging in there. 
kind of hard to say, but I am definitely hanging in there. The double pairs, I think, helped me out a lot. Awesome. Porygon goes down. There's one or two turns left on the Trick Room. Hmm. What's he going to do? He has Arcanine. Arcanine's not terrible here. My Raichu does not have uh, Protect. His card shop. Alright. What turn is it? What turn are we on? Turn number five. Close the last turn, Trick Room. So we're going to switch up for Coco. And then my Garchomp is just going to protect. And the next turn, I can poison jab the Sylveon if I want, fake out the Garchomp, because he's going to KO my Coco. Alright, let's see what he goes for. I would love to see him EQ his own Sylveon. That would make me so happy. Ugh, that damage. And Rock Slide. That might not KO my Coco. Might not. I might live this. Oh, yeah. That's the good stuffs. Twist Dimensions have returned to normal. Awesome. His last Pokemon's Arcanine. It's Poir Paralyzed Arcanine in the back. If I go D-Gleam, I'm thinking about if I should protect here. Like, if I protect here with my Coco... And just go for a Poison Jab. Next turn I can send out Raichu. Lock down the Arcanine. Yeah, I, I actually like that a lot. Protect with Coco. And go for an, an EQ. EQ or Rock Slide. Sorry, EQ or Poison Jab. I think I have to Poison Jab. Let's see what he goes for. Dragon Claw. Cool. He won. He potentially won a speed tie. Sucks to suck. It's not the end of the world, though. Kind of the end of the world. Am I really going to be that guy that fake outs a Garchomp? Am I really going to be that guy that fake outs a Garchomp? I think this will work. This is really hard to call, though. I'm going to switch out my Coco for Lele and just pop a Psychic onto the Garchomp, hope I can, hoping I can KO it. Lele should be able to eat a Psychic if he goes for some weird type of play with Earthquake. Alright, she would go down. But he might protect his Sylveon here. I'm really, really feeling the Protect Sylveon Earthquake play. And I'm trying to get the Garchomp off the board for free. How's it going? Hmm. I should really probably be targeting that Sylveon more, but I really think he's going to protect it or switch it out. Even though he has no reason to at this point. I really wish I hit that thing earlier. Alright, Lele's on the board. This activates my Psychic Surge, which means my Psychic will hit like a truck, and then hopefully my plan is... Alright, see so which draws there. Ain't nothing wrong with that. Can we see the Sylveon Protect? Because I don't want to lose my Pokemon for free. Nope, fuck. That sucks. If you Moonblast my Raichu, I'll go down. If he Dazzling Gleams, I have a shot. Ooh, cool. I think I still win. Raichu's faster than Garchomp, unless it's Scarfed, and I don't... There's there's no way to know if he's... You know, he Rock Slid and then Dragon Claw me. He's not Scarfed. I'm definitely overreacting for nothing. I still think that the Psychic from my Raichu KOs this Garchomp. I'm, st I'm just feeling that. And if it doesn't, I have Tapu Koko in the back who is faster than these guys, and he can come in... Oh my god, he's at 1. Fuck that. That means I'm gonna die. He just Earthquake to Sylveon, though! Um, did he crit my Lele? I think I just lost. 
I cannot believe that. He just earthquaked his own dude. Oh, but he's orb. Cool, cool. All right, so we haven't lost yet. I forgot that he was orb. I should have seen the orb on the. I didn't. I wasn't even paying attention. That's that's me being an idiot. All right, so it's Sylveon versus four HP Tapu Koko. Place your bets. If he has quick attack, it'll kill me because I'm activating an electric terrain. So if he has quick attack, it's his. He just earthquaked his Sylveon though. That was so raw. He could have just protected, you know, like. All right, Jesus, take the wheel. You got the quick attack, bro. Dude, I would run quick attack on Sylveon right now. This might not even KO, depending on what he's how he's built. Woo! Did it. Yeah, that guy had a really unique team. You don't you do not see Sylveon all that often. And I guess that's why.